Hello everyone. So, the last time that I talked about something that is actually informative was 4 months ago. That video is called OF Economy in Star Rail. Yes, the title and the premise are very goofy, but I do touch on basic economy and how it will work in that society. If you are interested, feel free to check it out after this video. This video is not going to be as informative, but this video is from me taking uh, experience from being a gacha player for a long time and how I guess like myself to spend as little currency as possible. So why do I keep my polychrome amount high without feeling pressured to spend? Chingy is so good but I want to keep using my wife Anbi. What should I do to keep these urges away from me? So how do you guess like yourself and become the next multi-billionaire and hack the matrix? I'm not going to teach you how to actually become a billionaire. I'm not here to shill out get rich quick scheme or ask you guys to join my pump and dump. The only thing you'll be pumping is your A rank. Who will love you regardless of your financial situation. So how to gaslight yourself to not pull. Number one, get delusional. No. I don't mean to lose your sanity. What I mean by this is to hype yourself up in your favorite character's voice. For example, Anbi is the first character that you control. Are you really going to bench her because of meta? She's the poster girl. Why not wait for a stun character that is unique instead of quote quote just a better Anbi? If, if you're waiting for better Anbi, wait for the real better Anbi. Have you seen Anbi and Soldier 11 in the same room? I don't think so. Just just go sicko mode, fix scenario in your head until you become uninterested in the limited banner character. So number two, play the character story quest at a later date. Play Ching Yi's story quest after her banner ends. This is all just the matrix playing tricks on your head. Hoyoverse, this evil company wants you to feel attached to Ching Yi so you will pull for the character. How dare a company wants to make money, am I right? How dare they want to sell you a product and makes you open up your wallet with their dirty mind tricks? Don't give Hoyoverse any money, be free to play, build Anbi. Number 3, buy Anbi figurine. After you buy the Anbi figurine, are you really going to bench Anbi? Why are you a poser? Be like her main from Star Rail. They buy Hertha figurine and they still use Hertha over Jade. That's how dedicated they are. Why are you a loser? Oh no, a starter character feels clunky compared to unlimited character. If I build her, she's only going to be mid. Oh well, guess I will not be building her. Weak. Weak. Learn from Hoyoverse boycotters. They say they boycott Hoyoverse, but they still play Hoyoverse games. That is dedication. Go free to play on ZZZ by Anbi figurine and build Anbi to become the best stunner. Okay, number four. Let's just say that you are a weak person. You still want to pull Ching Yi. You are not loyal to Anbi. You are a traitor. You are a rat. Just a weakling that cannot maintain the Anbi agenda. You still want to pull the hack free rent instead of the burger free rent. Here's the solution. But beware, it, it's going to be technical because I am very smart. Let's pick a random number. Let's say you have 134 pool save up and you really want to pull for Ching Yi. Okay, go ahead. But how much would you pull? Maybe just do 34 pool so you have 100 pools left save up, right? But if you do more than 34, let's say 35, you have 99 pools left. 99 pools sounds lame. It's not even, so you need to pull more until it evens out. You can do this to train yourself to get big, nice round numbers so your currency in your account doesn't look messy, so you don't feel like you want to pull. You don't even need to make it even actually, you, you, you can just make the polychrome number look funny haha <laughs> like 69420. Uh, if you have excess polychrome, turn it into tape and make the tape have a nice round number. So number five, this is my last two last tip to save your polychrome and keep the Anbi agenda strong. Pull on Chingi banner until you lose the 50-50 on A rank. After that, don't pull. 
Don't pull until Anbi gets a red up. Then continue pulling when Anbi got a red up. This doesn't need to be said, but I think I still need to say it. Uh don't pull uh to build up pity. That that's that's not a thing. Only pull for character that you want. I'm not sure that. Pull whoever you like and spend your money wisely. So yeah, uh that's it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, clean your room. I'll see you guys and be agenda pusher in the next one.